Good morning, my brothers and sisters, coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God, a God big enough to take on all of the issues in this world today and to have a plan for it. And yet at the same time, he knows us by name. He knows the number of hairs on our head. He knows our needs and he has plans to take care of us. Praise God for that. Our word of encouragement comes from Psalm 139, beginning of verse 15. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. As I think about these words, I'm reminded about the fact that because of who God is, because he created us, because he's in charge of this great big plan, because of that, he has a plan for us. And if we believe this to be true, then we believe that the eternity is true, that what else God says in here is true, that not only does he have a plan for us here, but as a plan for us for all eternity. And God's plan, of course, is that if we choose him, we can be with him forever. Now, the Bible tells us that our days are ordained, that we, we really can't add to them, that we can't subtract to them, that, that God knows how much time we have. And, uh, and it's not, it shouldn't be about extending our life here as much as it should be about making the most of every day we have. Now, um, I think Muhammad Ali was the one who said it's not about counting the days, it's about making the days count. And, and although uh, his faith is different than ours, or what, I'm sorry, his faith was different than ours, um, I think that idea still fits within our lives as well. That it's not about how many days we have left on this earth, it's about how do we make those days count. Uh, and I think when it comes to God, we certainly want to make those days count. God has a plan for us, if we follow his plan, that will make those days count. Uh, things that really count towards eternity. Um, is it nice to have nice things here? Absolutely. And we work hard and we do those things. God uh, provides us things and, and we can certainly utilize them here. But we should really be working on storing up treasures in heaven, uh, storing up that which will go before us and, and preparing for what's to come. And the way we prepare for what's to come is to try to bring others with us. And so we use what God gives us here in order to, to be a blessing to others, to, to reach out to others, to, to share with others, if you will, in such a way that they see the love of God. Folks, God loves you. God loves you so much that he created you. He created me and, and he created us with a plan and purpose. None of us are here by accident. Uh, we may not have been planned by our parents maybe, or maybe uh, there's different things that have gone on, but you're not an accident in God's mind. Uh, you're not an afterthought. God said that you will be and you are. And God said that I have a plan for you and he does. The question is, will we serve him? Today, I just want to encourage you to, to examine your heart or ask him to examine your heart. Are you living out? your life the way he would have you to or are you spinning your wheels um truth is is that we're either moving kind of towards god or away from him it's it's very rarely that we're like sitting in a plateau area uh, there are times of rest but for the most part we're either moving towards god or away from him so i would ask you are you moving towards him today the one who created you the one who has planned for you the one who's ordained your days are you moving towards him today father god thank you for this day Thank you for this reminder that you have created us, that you knew us before we were to be, that, that, that we are part of your plan. And although you've given us free choice because you don't want us to be mere robots, um, there are certain things that are set in place uh, as far as how many days we have and, and what you would have us to do. And yet, Lord, you never give up on us. Uh, it doesn't matter what we've done to this point or, what, or uh, where we're at, that you would always welcome us home. And you don't ask us to go fix ourselves. Father, you simply say, come to me and I will give you rest and then you'll take care of us. And so, Lord, today, we just pray that again, that you would examine our hearts, that you would help us to see those areas maybe where we're struggling or we're or, or feeling down. And Lord, that you would lift us up and tr transform us that we might be more like Christ. We also pray, Lord, that you would use our lives to be a blessing to others, um, that your light would shine through us and others might come to know you, not because of who we are, but because of who you are in us. Father, we just thank you for all that you're about to do this beautiful day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. Hey, we love you as well. Uh, just if there's anything we can do for you, we'd love to pray for you or, or whatever the case, but just know that, that we're thinking about you today and hope you have a wonderful day. Hopefully see you again tomorrow. God bless.